Right. This is exciting. Hello, YouTubers. This is the Nubifier. It's Friday, and that means SC Live with the sound designers. Here's what you need to know in 2 minutes and 22 seconds. That super cool swoosh Doppler sound is still in game, but there are plans to amplify the approach and make it more impressive. And they say it's needed to identify ships while they're in atmosphere. Adding that signature mock sonic boom is complex, as the Doppler effect for explosions and such things have a huge commitment if it was simulated and not just faked. They were intrigued, but that's part of the planet tech, and it's dependent on pressure, temperature, speed, blah blah blah. The question was asked about NPCs who make noises such as humming, whistling, or talking to each other. They confirmed that it's part of the future, but it's dependent on subsumption, which is needed first. When your ship starts up, most of the sound seems to come from the dash, and they would like to expand that to include the engines and other mechanical noises, and they also want that to occur not just during startup. They said that audio is often the last part of polish, so they assure us that that is coming. Internal warning alarms like red alert or hull breaches are really more of a ship design team thing, but the audio team would be ready to build it if the systems are needing it. Jared is keeping that question for the 3rd of July when the ship team is scheduled. Warp noises work but are somewhat bugged according to the team. They're going to focus on improving the experience of quantum and future jumping. The team was asked if any odd objects were used during Foley. There was no specific instance, but they did confirm that the sources are vast and surprising. For example, the Vanguard toilet incorporates sound from a dolphin, the Mole toilet incorporates sounds from a seal, and only in Star Citizen could we ever be concerned about what the sound of the Vandal toilet will be. They like the idea of adding a ship intercom system. The team confirmed that they all play some sort of musical instrument. Sounds in a vacuum are added in game through lore, by a positional sound system in your helmet. They did not rule out the idea of making that susceptible to EMP. Player footsteps sounds are variable based on the surface type, and that's going to expand in the future so that you can actually hear a clear difference. Dolby Atmos support is something they would like to add. Normally there is quiet before the storm, or at least that's how the saying goes. The sound team is ready to add those sounds when the planet team adds the storms. They confirmed that all ships have unique sounds bespoke just to them. They confirmed that human malware had a direct impact on the team, but they passed on a special thank you to CIG for the way that CIG supported a transition to work from home. And finally, they plan to add more ship voices in the future, but they confirmed that as these are paid actors, they need to do large chunks all at once. That's it, fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.